Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of couch potatoes in love. We love watching some Obi-Wan Kenobi. It just never gets old of him calling us couch potatoes. Well, I wanted to put a smile on your face because it's the last episode, so I knew that was going to be sad. Aww. Yeah, see? <laughs> I think it's going to have a, a, a good conclusion. I've enjoyed this series. Um, you know, I, I mean, every episode has been really solid. Uh, some obviously better than others. I mean, all the stuff with Vader has been amazing. Jealous. Every time I see what I got said. Your hood wasn't covering your face that much. We're not going to make it to test an army. Motivate a shot. How much time do you need? What do we have? I'm looking for a little bit of something more specific than that. I'm scared. Maybe I should borrow her too. Hmm. Owen, there's something you need to know. No, no, babe, you can't just leave me here. I'm the one that Vader wants. If I go, he will follow. I'm not letting you. Leia, please. Wait, what happened to all of us staying together? You are all the future. You are the future. You are what needs to survive. No. Leia! You must promise me that you get her home, Hodja. You have my word. Although I'm in the word of a liar and a fake Jedi, I may not mean much to you. But <laughs> good enough for me. The actor is very likable. Mm -hmm. How did she know I was here? I don't know. All I know is she's coming. I'm not leaving my home. At least here we have a chance. Fair enough. You and me. What's a badass? Seriously? Guru, what are you doing? We both need to stay in my cover. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. She'll come when the sounds go down. Best we get position now. <laughs> I talk to her. You're welcome. <laughs> you said you'd take me home. I wish that I could let her. Broken thunder before we got out. She would have wanted you to have it. Mm -hmm. It's empty. Well, I was going to give you a blaster layer. <laughs> You're ten years old. <laughs> but you won't always be. Yep. I knew that hug was coming. I didn't lose it. I didn't cry. Ben. I have to face him, Master, whether he dies or I do. This ends today. No, it doesn't. I thought for sure. We would see Liam Neeson. Sure. You don't have to do this, you know. We can still fix the drive. I have to go. That would be cool if we did. It's not about us, is it? You want to do it. Oh, you and him. A little bit. A lot of it. Just keep them safe. There are not many leaders left. People follow you. Don't stop. Yeah, don't take that for granted. Just get started. Yeah! Way to go, Roku. Which means we'll see him in future series. I sincerely hope so. Let's right into the escape my lord, we must continue our pursuit of the insurgents. Now is our chance to wipe out this network in Are its entirety. You think you can tell Vader what to do? I know. There's one lone Jedi. He is not just any Jedi. He's ballsy. Yeah. He's the Jedi. Follow Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Once more, Vader. If anything goes wrong with you, if you know what to do, you run. I'm not afraid. But your uncle Owen's afraid. It's okay, babe. Jan's not. Oh, his aunt's not afraid. She's just brave. I think she's looking forward to it. I will face him alone. <laughs> she's still so... See, you have to survive. Yep. You gotta bring Lola back. <laughs> Oh, I love that they're getting into this fight early on. Because there's like a lot of episodes left. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of fight. Mm -hmm. 
have you come to destroy me, Obi-Wan? I will do what I must. Then you will die. Like some of that too. This is when they need to shut up. That's right, you promised her. will be your undoing. Oh! This was behind the, the back. back! Oh! Hell yeah! Here we go. My turn! You wanna play with rocks? Let's play with rocks. Don't look him in the eye. He's in fear when he's Vader. Yep. Yep. 
Let's go faster. Yeah. Okay, now her you can kill. You're picking on a child? What the hell is wrong with you? You've become Vader. But like the much less cooler version. Mm-hmm. Killing an unconscious, unarmed youngling. Well, bravo you. Really freaking impressive. Oh, she's not killing Luke, she's killing herself. Embracing the dark side. Do you want to become the human hate? She's got to struggle with it for long enough for everyone to get there. I'm sorry, what parent is not going to their child at this point? Yeah. Well, I mean, she did try to kill them, so I think they're a little bit cautious. No, she brought him back. You just go. Maybe that was his place just to like, kill all three of them. Yeah, we're not going to thank you for bringing him back. Yeah. Like, you're the one that made him After stop. you made him fall off the cliff, then you brought him back and we're supposed to thank you. <laughs> you have given them peace. You have honored them. Now you're free. I go far. It's more noise. I think it's a city. are tracking every system within range. We will destroy everything in our path until he is bound. Perhaps your feelings for your old master have left you weak. If your past cannot be overcome, Kenobi means nothing. <sighs> nice shot there. Mm-hmm. Darth Vader. Yeah, song. yeah. Oh, so perfect. And everything is happy again. <laughs> Let's see how it all wraps up with little Leia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The gloves that she got. <laughs> yes! Is that the holster? <laughs> I love it. Yeah! Plus, in that shot, she's looking like Leia. Mm hmm. She looks like a mini Leia now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you said there were many ways to leave. But that was right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to want to change a few things. <laughs> yes! Let's change things together. Yeah. More cousins? Not exactly. Old friends. <laughs> yeah, Lola! <laughs> Separate the young lady from her boy. What will you do now? What do you think I should do? I think you should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. When you said before that I didn't know your parents. Oh well. Princess Leia Organa, you are wise, discerning, kind hearted. Like your mother. These are qualities that came from your mother, but you're also passionate. Fearless. And fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Both were exceptional people who bore an exceptional daughter. They did that. I wish I could tell you more. Will I ever see you again? Maybe, if you ever need help from a tired old man. <laughs> help you, we must be careful. Mm. May the force be with you. I knew that Lola was going to go in the holster. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was like, it's the perfect size for her when I first saw it. I wonder if he can get his job back at the meat place. <laughs> no. What are you uh, doing here? He just needs to be a boy. The future will take care of itself. Take good care of him. 
You want him to hit him? Yeah. I love that. Are you sure that's exactly how he greets R2-D2 in a new home? When we first meet him. <laughs> you finally connected you enough. You'll never come. I was always here, Obi Wan. You just yep. I weren't ready to see you. Exactly. Got a ways to go. <laughs> oh hell yeah! So you can't tease me like that, not bringing Liam Neeson. About his particular set of skills. What do you think? It was satisfying. Yeah. I still maintain there's more story to tell, and I still want more. <laughs> but they wrapped it up really well. I got choked up. I smiled. Yeah. I laughed. I was teary eyed. They did a very good job. Everything with Obi Wan and Darth Vader was uh, great. Um, that final fight scene was so satisfying. Uh, my, so, um, I'm sure most of you probably have seen this, but like there was a reimagined version, someone, uh, cut up with, um, of their, of their first fight and, you know, like did extra special effects and the choreography and we checked it out and we really enjoyed that. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is kind of how it would be like if they, you know, had the budget and, uh, you know, special effects and can do it like, you know, today. And I mean, it was that and then some, it was so great. And, um, not only was the, was the fighting and the choreography and, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, when all the rocks he's uh, in his bed behind him, looked like freaking Magneto, just throwing a, a stuff at him. Uh, that, was, that was satisfying, but it was also like a lot of motion in that one. Yeah. And I also loved everything with Obi-Wan and, uh, and Leia. Yeah. I love that we have the history with him and Leia now, mm -hmm. because it just enriches the the new, like a new hope when she's reaching out to him. I mean, yeah. if this is the last time she sees him before that moment, then... You know, knowing that it could endanger them, but to send him that message in R two D two and help me, Obi Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Yep. We get it now in a way that we never could before. I love that this really was mostly him and Leia. Yes. And that he just meets Luke at the end because obviously a new hope is his journey with Luke. So um, it brought a nice balance between Obi Wan's kind of influence over each sibling. Mm -hmm. I loved the fight with with him and Darth Vader. I loved that he goes into it with. Either Darth dies or I, like, boom. Like, yeah. one of us isn't coming out of this. But then as he's fighting him, and when he finally gets the upper hand, and he hears that tortured breathing, mm -hmm. and sees that Anakin really appears to be dead and gone. And this really is just this this shell of a former person. I will say, uh, Hugh McGregor, uh, I mean, always does an outstanding job. But again, back to that fight scene with Darth Vader, I get, like, you know, we said the choreography was great for it. And like, I mean, you know, it's everything I wanted in the fight. And then um, when he sees Vader and I think it was, was it after the line when Vader said like, you know, you didn't kill um, Anakin, I did. Maybe it was even before that, but there was a point when like, I almost like just broke down right there. I was like, wow. I mean, you can just really feel the pain and anguish in Obi-Wan. I think it was, no, no, it was before that line. Cause Anakin said like, oh, you know, don't feel bad Obi-Wan, you didn't kill. Um, I'm not your failure. I'm not your failure. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was right before that line that uh, Obi-Wan was just looking so tortured and um, kind of how he was in the, in the beginning of this of this show. Seeing somebody cry, like that's cathartic, that emotional release. Mm -hmm. Seeing somebody work so hard not to cry, to hold in their suffering, to hold in their emotion. That's what really tugs on the heartstrings of an audience and Boy, did you and McGregor execute that perfectly. I mean, that was a master class in, in that. That exact part, I my eyes started to water. I felt like that mm -hmm. choked sensation in your throat that you get when you're about to cry. And I really almost thought I was gonna I was gonna let go as well. I didn't. I held it together. It is an absolute testament to you and McGregor's incredible skill that 
he crafted that moment so beautifully. Yeah, that moment set me up, and uh, we've talked about her acting in this a bunch. Um, we should get the actress's name, Little Leia, uh, the, the actress that plays Little Leia, because she was phenomenal. And it wasn't just in the fact that she's like super adorable and super cute. And obviously, she totally is. Obviously, it helps. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a big part of it. But uh, it was with her and Obi Wan um, at the end when he's just like saying, you know, I did know your parents, um, and starts saying, listing off all the qualities uh, of his. You know, her mom oh, and then yeah. all the qualities of her dad. I was like, that got that, that got a single tear for me. That got a single tear. I also just love and, and kudos to the kid on this too. She obviously has a strong connection to Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan's coming out of the plane. Oh, it's so nice to see him. Lola comes out of the plane. Lola! Yeah, that was <laughs> she great. Runs to that her, was funny. She runs to her door and I just thought, bravo. Because it would be such an actor's choice to run mm -hmm. to Obi-Wan, he is the star of the show. You have a history with him. Like, you are supposed to be excited to see him. That is such an actor's choice. But it is a child's choice to run to your pet. And I just thought that was... I'm going to give the credit to, to her because she's so dang <laughs> cute and adorable. And I think she was just flawless in this series. It might have been the director. Who knows? But yeah. whoever decided to do that, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Another character who I felt like they were setting up a duel between him and uh, the third sister. Like there's gonna be like a power struggle for who who gets the Grand Inquisitor one. But like after maybe it was like the third or fourth episode, we never saw the dude again. He got the dumb hat. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, like I mean, it's, it's, he just kind of seemed like a, a throwaway character, and it was just you know they kind of set him up in the beginning like there was gonna be like a little bit of a struggle there and you know he's gonna, he's gonna come back and then i wonder like if that was like done on the editing floor i wonder if he had more mm -hmm. to his character and then it just kind of like got cut and that's where i think that like it was on the writing end for the third sister's uh character arc that like it kind of failed because that whole kind of side of it all like you know the whole like about the inquisitor part of it all felt kind of weak you know all around not just with her. I mean, I have a ton of questions about the Inquisitors. Not so much about, like, what came before, but sort of in the what happens next. I mean, the Grand Inquisitor was um, lacking some serious humility in yeah. the presence of Darth Vader. And I'm I'm kind of curious, like, I, I said it before after an episode, but I would love if they made a series of Darth Vader. That was his rise to power within the Empire and, you know picks up where this leaves off because I think there is story there. I mean, Darth Vader is very intimidating and he's obviously high ranking at this point within the empire, but he's not where he will be. Um, yeah. We kind of see that alluded to at the end of the season when he is on his throne and we hear his Imperial March and it's like, okay, like this is the birth of Vader. Like this is his rise, but it seemed to me, that shot, that moment just so beautifully set up what could be the next chapter, which is all about where it goes from here and what's happening in the Empire and the Empire's complete takeover. And Owen even said, you know, the Empire gets stronger by the day. So let's see that. What was your favorite episode out of all of them? It might be the last one, just because it, it wrapped up everything so well. Well, also, and, and we always know that this is how I... I judge things because <laughs> I have questions. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm not interested, if I don't like it, then I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, that was fine. But if I have a ton of questions afterwards still, that means that, you know, I'm invested and I want more and I definitely do after this. It's really tough to nail uh, the end of a series and the end of like, you know, I mean, especially since this is a mini series, like it's, that's yeah. really tough to nail. And I feel like they did a, a, an amazing job. I mean, gave us great fight sequences and uh, you know, Good, even more like character development from characters that we've already like know so much about and love so much um and like i just got like so giddy when darth vader and obi-wan kenobi were gonna we're gonna fight and so like I'm like like oh my god we're gonna get it again we're gonna get it we're gonna get like a proper battle uh much longer than what we got in a new hope and you know it's not gonna be something that's like uh i mean again the fan made one was very well done the reimagined version of uh that scene but this was just on another level and it was so satisfying. Yeah, although I am going to play devil's advocate okay. in that. Uh, totally agree in, in terms of how satisfying this fight was, 100%. But 
I think that this also enriches how simplistic the fight is in A New Hope. Mm. Because we've seen what Ben can do. We've yeah. We've seen what Obi-Wan can do. So, you know, it leaves you wondering, going into this fight the whole way, he knew before the fight even started how it was going to end. Mm -hmm. And he was just, you know, drawing Vader out, inching him along until the opportune moment. Mm -hmm. And then to just put up the lightsaber and say, if you strike me down now, Darth, I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Yeah. I mean, just that whole scene is so much more enriched by this. And, and you can read into it so much deeper now, having seen what their fights could be like. Yep. And the fact that Obi-Wan chose not to do it. Because, you know, you're suspending your disbelief. You're not going mm -hmm. into like, oh, well, it was the 70s and special effects and budget and blah, blah. No, yeah. you're buying into the world. And if you're buying into the world, you're going, Obi-Wan chose not to put up the fight. And, yeah, I mean, you're right. Because, like, that must have been so unsatisfying for Vader in that in that moment, so you know, like they had this epic battle, and like you know, Obi Wan got the best of him last time, and then now they're having this fight, and it's like I have to rewatch it again, but like you know, Vader's really aggressive, and like Obi Wan's just kind of like in that scene, and we, and we talked about this when we watched the reimagined one. You know, you, you wanted to see Obi Wan Kenobi like this great Jedi, like do all these cool things that you see him do in this one, but he, he said he's he's already done that. And that, that's not his, that's not what this is about. And uh, it seemed like that's what Vader wanted now. Like, if, yeah. we, we, if you watch it chronologically, and, then, and, and you know, it was the first time you ever saw it, you would kind of think that, okay, now this is like Vader trying to, you know, get the best out of Obi-Wan Kenobi so he could get like the best fight so he could be a satisfying kill. He wants but, to defeat him when he is at his best. Yeah, at the end, you know, just to have him go like this, he's like, well, I'm gonna kill you, but screw you, give me your yeah. best. It's kind of like the final F you to Vader. Like, yeah. no, you don't get to have this great, glorious fight. No, you don't get to look like the big badass. And I'm going to be more powerful because you strike me down because I got your son. Like, like, it's just, it's such an F you on so many levels, which we didn't have the first time around. Mm. Like, like they told us, you know, mm. logically, we kind of understood that. But now we viscerally feel it and emotionally, intuitively get it because we've had all this. And I wonder if he, if he realized he was going to become more powerful because of uh, Qui-Gon um, at the end there. Uh, you know, now he finally sees him. He's probably learning so much more about it. And he's learning so much more about, you know, the Force probably even more so from his master. And, you know, how powerful uh, you can still have influence after life and, like, become even more powerful and more helpful um, and it makes me think of like at the end when Vader cuts him down and he's kind of like poking around, it's almost like he's, you know, he's like, this isn't, no, come on. This is a trick, right? I know you, I know you Kenobi, you wouldn't go down this easy. I've seen what you can do. Like, this is not like, like you, 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 this, there's some kind of parlor trick that you're, that you're going on there. Um, so I, I think that was, uh, that was well said, beautiful. You, uh, you got me to, you know, rethink, think about it in a different light. Well, and also, you know, they, they refer to him as old Ben the Hermit. <laughs> but as Qui-Gon said, like, come on, we have a long way to go. Like, yep. Ben was not alone out out mm. there in the sand dunes. I mean, you know, he had he had his master with him, as you said, you know, learning so much more. And I'm sure that that was, that was kind of all he needed. I really want to watch A New Hope now, like, really badly. Yeah, yeah. But I'm also trying to tell myself that I shouldn't until we finish Clone Wars and, yeah. like, yep. like go back to the third movie and the prequel trilogy and, and kind of, like, then go. But it's tough. I don't know. I don't know if I can hold out. I'm not sure if I'm that strong. <laughs> we will see. The Force is not with me on this. You have to let us know what you thought about this series down below in the comments and your favorite episode from this series. Uh, it was great. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, watching along with us. And you've seen our reaction now to Obi-Wan Kenobi, season one, the only season, episode six, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>